Facebook Page Insights helps you understand what your community wants from your page, enabling you to grow your fans and interactions. You know it's important to measure your social media marketing performance and Facebook Insights will make this easier for you. First things first, where do you find these metrics? They are located on the admin panel above the cover photo of your Facebook page. We aren't going to cover every term, definition and nuance in this video because that would turn it into a movie. Most of the terms have a question mark nearby that you can click on to get the definition. We will cover how to interpret the best metrics to help you decipher what is going right and wrong on your page. Main Insights Click on See All in the Insights box. You will see a graph of the activity for the last month. When you click on the individual columns, you can sort the posts by descending value in these columns. Reach is the number of unique users who saw your post. Engaged users is the number of unique people who have clicked on your post. Talking about this is the number of people who have liked, commented on, or shared your post or responded to the question or event. Virality is the talking about this number divided by the reach number. The most important of these columns are engaged users and virality. You will also know what type of posts you are viewing by the icon next to the post. Green quotations stand for status update. Film stands for video. Note with a pin stands for a link or an application that's posted on your behalf. A square that looks like an outline of a person in a picture stands for pictures. When we sort by engaged users, we can see that the top three posts are all photos. So we know that if we want to focus on getting more engaged users, we should post pictures. See what types of posts are working for you by sorting the columns. Reach When you dive into the reach section, you first see a chart of demographics of people who have seen any content about your page within the last week. Below that are the how you reach people graphs. The one on the right shows the unique users by frequency in a rolling one week time frame. The statistic to watch here is the number of people you are reaching more frequently. This is your core audience. If you are not reaching people multiple times with your posts, you may have to adjust your strategy. Experiment with posting more often, focusing on getting more engagement so that your posts come up with more in your fans' newsfeed. You may need to do something more involved like running a contest on Facebook ad to reconnect with your audience. The next graph shows page views and unique visitors. And below this graph is one of the most interesting areas of insights, the external referrers. Watch where people are coming from. If the only external referrer is Google, you need to get the word out about your page. Guest post on websites and blogs are, and use your page address in the bio. Likes. The next area of metrics is the likes area. This area breaks out your fans by demographics, which can be useful for future ad campaigns. The area to watch in this section is the where your likes came from graph. In this particular page graph, we can go back and track the posts on the wall to see what happened during the spikes. Pay attention to what's working. People talking about this. The people talking about this number is publicly displayed on the left side under the number of likes. This figure is a great measure of actual engagement. It includes all the following activities that can happen on your page over one week rolling period. Liking a page, posting to a page's wall, liking, commenting on or sharing a page post, answering a question posted, RSVPing to an event, mentioning a page to a post, photo tagging in a page, liking or sharing a check-in deal, checking in at a place. The best part of this statistic is that you can see it on, on any page, meaning it's public information. Now you can tell if a page is interacting with people. Big fan numbers don't mean that the page is healthy. The people talking about this statistic is the one to watch. Watch your competitors' numbers to monitor that is working for them. For an accurate picture, 
take the people talking about this number and divide it by the total number of fans. Healthy pages have percentages between 1% and 5%. The graphs on the actual people talking about this page within Insights aren't as interesting as the overview on the main page. Facebook Insights helps you track the health of your page and can immediately see when you need to make some adjustments to your strategy. Try new things, monitor what's working and what isn't, and take your Facebook page to the next level. I hope this gives you some great ideas on how to use the new Facebook Insights to monitor and grow your audience.